Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. When you're comparing actual and budget in Excel, sometimes it's nice to have a red indicator for the lines or departments that have an overspend. In this short video, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic donor chart that turns red on lines that have overspent. So join me and let's go through this in Excel. So this is our actual and budget dashboard. Here, if I select a department, this chart shows me how much the department has spent. So operations has spent only 21% of their budget. But if I select sales and marketing, because they've overspent their budget, this do not chart now turns red. So this is what we want to achieve, a dynamic do not chart that will show us red when a line has overspent. So let's learn how we created this from scratch. So I'm going to delete the elements of this chart and then we switch to our calculations page and I'll walk you through how I created this. So for our dashboard, we have already calculated actual. This is our budget and then we have our balance. And these respond to slices. So I have all the months going into this total. Now to be able to create that dynamic do not chart, we need these labels, an overspent percentage, an actual percentage and the balance. So let's start off with the actual. So basically what we want to see here is, I want to see how much the department has spent by dividing the actual and the budget. Okay, so this should give me a percentage. But if the department has overspent, I want this to read NA. So NA means non-applicable and we are using this value because in charting, NAs cannot be plotted. Okay, so it's either the percentage or NA if they have overspent. The formula to do that is if I divide actual and budget and it is more than 100, in this case 1, then give me NA. So NA is a function. We open and close it and then I'll bring a comma. Otherwise, give me the original calculation here. So this is going to switch between the actual calculation and NA. So once I do this, I have 29%. So this 29% represents the current department. Now I want the reverse or the opposite of this calculation in the overspend. So this is going to be if there's an overspend, then show that overspend otherwise show me an na so i'm going to copy this formula and guess what we are going to do we just paste the same thing here but instead of greater than 100 we want less than 100 to show na in this space and then the original calculation so whenever this reads a percentage this will read na vice versa now let's calculate the balance so the balance will be the percentage left that is yet to be spent so ideally it should have been one minus this but because this calculation is going to be either na or a value we are going to use a function called if na okay so if na so in the case this is an na give me this value so that this is going to switch so we currently have 29 percent but we don't want any negative numbers so we are going to use max okay so one minus this okay or zero so that we don't exceed our calculation so this is always going to give us a toggle now that we've done this we are going to use the same method to create our label so if na this or value and then I have this. So now that we are done with our calculations, let's chart. So I'm going to highlight the labels and the calculation. Go to insert and then pick the do not chart. So remember, what we've achieved here is we have an overspend, an actual and then the balance. So we want to color the overspend. So if they have overspent, this whole thing will turn red color. So I'm going to use the legend to do this. So I select 
the overspin in the legend. In charting, you can press Ctrl 1 to give you the settings for that particular chart area. So I'll come here and then change this overspin to red. Okay, so that is what I want to see. And then I'll select actual. I want my actual to show blue. Okay, and then my balance is going to show this light gray. Okay, so this is done. Later, I'll come for my label. So I'm going to cut this control X and then go and fit it in my dashboard. So I'll come here, fit this, take off my chart title, take off my legend, and then resize this using the space that I have here. So now if I've done this, I'll come to format and then take out my shape fill. So I'll choose no fill. So I'll select my series again, control one, and I want to take off the border lines. So I'll make it no line and then, and then finally take off my shape outline. So I have something like this. Now let's bring in our text box. That is the label that's going to show us how much has been spent. We are going to go to insert text box and then just gently draw our text box here. Okay, and while it is highlighted, you go to the formula bar, put in an equal sign, and then you go to calculations and then pick the label. When you press enter, it comes in the middle and then you can middle and center align. And then we can increase the font to about 18. Take off my fill. Take off my shape outline and then make the font white to agree with our design. Okay, you can build in this in the process. Okay, so now that we are done, let's test this. So projects, operations, 21%, sales and marketing. 238% and overall organization also up overspent so we have 136% so it's a very cool way to show or draw attention to lines or departments that have overspent please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this WhatsApp number, we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.